Hello, hello to the amazing YouTube people, the Neoma here with another Library of Ruina episode. So yeah, we played with Kebura for quite a bit and now it's gonna be time to go and uh, finally do the chest abnormality. Gebura's like on 5? Hmm. We need to completely realize the floor of natural sciences though, this one. We need the Book of Chun. Oh wait, what? Book of Chun. How do we know about the Book of Chun? Hmm. Wait, what? We can get the Book of Chun here, but we didn't get it? We kill it too fast, maybe? Wait, what? Did we burn it? I don't remember, but I guess we're gonna be doing that fight once more before we can do this. Okay, but in any case, uh, we can do this one today. Uh, so we're gonna go with Chest as Kalo, we're gonna go with Frank as Alan, we're gonna go with Anastasia as Esther, and Vetterby as Don Juan, the Great One Fixer's page. I put uh, the Mind Howler, so Don Juan does not have Health Howler. And then I believe uh, Esther here doesn't have Mind Howler, but that should be fine. Famous last word, right? Famous last words. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. Um, you they enter the book of the road home and scare and the scaredy cat. Okay. Let's see what the game has in store for us today on this wonderful day. Scene one. I'm stumped on how we're supposed to suppress them. Don't tell me, are they related to the nightmarish duo from before? I don't think I've ever seen them before. It might feel like we're not in our home anymore, but let's keep coming and get started. An endless adventure began. Right. Courage. Gain strength equal to the amount of times the road home was attacked this scene. Wait, what? Okay. Home that cannot be reached. The counter goes up whenever the page targeting the home is cancelled. If this reaches 3, a powerful combat page is used at the following scene. Right. <laughs> right. Courageous is immune to all types of damage until the road home dies. Coveredly, once the road home dies, all resistance is changed to fatal, fatal and max HP is reduced. The number of speed dice in combat pages also change. Okay. Let's go together! Mass individual news, apply, ap apply yellow brick road. Oh, it, this is like... Uh, yellow brick road is from the Wizard of Oz. Apply yellow brick road to two librarians next scene. Oh, news. Okay, it's also attacking the house, interestingly enough. And it's not attacking this one, not sure why. Why does a mass individual card not target all my librarians? Well, actually, it's only targeting three people now that I see it like two of them are not getting targeted are they those two the ones which are gonna get the yellow brick road and become immune maybe i don't know play tag oh there we go do you see them on the picture like the cat the lion without courage and then the other friends from the this is a ranged attack Play tag. Let's go together. On the first scene of the battle spawns the home and uses a mass attack page that applies the status yellow brick road to its targets. Oh no. So she's gonna like apply yellow brick roads to these two. Okay. You, gosh darn wizard. After the abnormality attack towards home has been cancelled two times. Uses a mass attack, you, wicked wizard. The following scene. If any librarian is hit by the attack, the home is spawned the next scene and repeats the previous behavior. If no librarian is damaged by the attack, the abnormality becomes a staggered next scene. Well, she's endured. What if you just stagger, stagger and kill her? Is that possible? Doesn't seem like it has, like... Ok, 
Okay. Friends, let's go home. On the second scene, uses the combat page Friends, let's go home, targeting the home and the librarian with the yellow brick road. If the combat page hits home, the battle is lost. <laughs> what? The attack on the home is cancelled. If all librarians with yellow brick road win the clash against Friends, let's go home. Right. A lot of complicated things here. <laughs> so. Yeah, so these two have to win a clash next turn, basically, from what I understand here. Okay. So, let's see, these two. So these two next uh, next round need to have full, uh, full light and a good way to fight her. Uh, what do we do with the with the cat? Like, can I attack the the thing? By the way, I can. However, problem is this thing gains strength equal to the amount of times the road home was attacked this scene. So, the more we attack the house, the more courage it gets. Uh, the more strength it gets. It's defending its home. And the house, let's see, home. Can't really see the resistances. No, it seems like it's immune to everything, so there's no point in attacking it whatsoever. Okay. Well, whatever we play here, we want to clash three times, so we gain uh, what we need. Same here. Well, this is a good one, right? Mass individual on use. Fly yellow brick road to the librarians. 3 to 6, 3 to 6, 3 to 6. Um, I mean, problem is... That that play is a little bit risky. Because... If this thing destroys that thing, then we don't clash and we don't get what we need, right? Yeah, kind of. So I can clash with this thing, I guess. There we go. Okay, how about you? And here we don't put anything here, we don't defend from it, I guess. Yeah, we just get bashed down here. It's not too bad, though. Okay, and here, uh... Hmm. We need to clash with something else. We, we can clash with the kitty cat. It's pretty good, like, at... Avoiding things. How do we do this? Immune. Right, we cannot do anything to it. So the road home needs to die. Once the road home dies, all resistance is changed to fatal, max HP is reduced. But how will the road die? Uh, Yeah, not sure actually. How does the home die? Ba, 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 ba. The home is spawned. Next scene. What does it mean spawned? I don't know. Let's see what the yellow brick road does, and we're gonna go from there. Actually, I don't need light here. We might as well play that, right? Uh 
her. There's this going there. Yeah, but I need... Uh, right. I need to clash three, ti clash three times here. It's gonna be a bit hard. That's gonna be a bit hard. Okay. can also not play anything, right? That feels a little bit bad though. This thing has a decent chance. Let me see something. Badge, Beer Stagger damage, uh, Mine Howler. Okay, stiletto, pierce, okay, pierce plus two. Right, so this one might just survive then. just need to clash here but it's horrible to clash like that but what other choice do I have I need to get this ones on level up and then these two just play stuff I guess Let's do reload and let's do unlock. Okay. There we go. Oh, we actually won the first one. Right, and so the gears. Okay, we did our goal here, so that's good. Yeah, everyone's gonna level up on emotion, that's beautiful. This thing's like... Rah, rah, rah. Right, after attacking an enemy with a higher amount of stagger resist, deal 2 to 4 stagger bonus stagger damage and recover 2 to 5 stagger resist, okay. Uh, after dealing 15 more damage, reduce the cost of the two most expensive pages in hand by 1 on kill, reduce the cost to 0 instead. The cost reduction is stressed when, when the page is used. Okay. After stacking an enemy, copy two pages on the bad enemy and add them to the librarian's hand. <laughs> That's so funny though. But yeah, we got like the Wizard of Oz here. Uh, I already knew when I saw the Scarecrow. The copied pages are exhausted after copy two pages on the enemy and add them to the librarian's hand to less cost. Nah. Friend, let's go together, together, right. Cannot be redirected on hit. Stagger target. The battle is lost if the attack hits the home. So it's gonna hit here, here, and here. Friends, let's go home. So if these two attacks are cancelled, then this one is also gets cancelled, right? So that's the whole goal, right? And then what is the cat doing? Not much, right? So the most important thing is here is that these two get cancelled and we need only 4 damage for it so that it's not too hard to do. Mm. Once the home road home once the road home dies wait what? Once the road home dies, all resistance is changed to fatal and max HP is reduced. Oh wait, I was reading it wrong. Ok, 
Okay, okay. I guess this is the road home. And it's gonna die by me, like, just winning this thing here, right? <laughs> Can we win 4 to 4? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Actually. Um, so many cards. How do we go from here? What's that? Pierce power up. Leap. Okay. This thing is gonna be 4 to 8, right? Yellow brick road, targeted by the road home and scaredy cat. Scaredy cat gains plus 5 power when attacking this character. If all attacks of friend let's go home fail to hit a target with this status, the road home's last attack is cancelled. Right. Well, these attacks can be redirected though, so we're gonna do that exactly. Um. So these two will uh, fight the cat, and these two will fi fight her, basically. Two to seven. It should be like four to seven, at least plus badge, so this will guaranteedly hit. Okay, and then this one here. And I can go with, with a heavy hitter like Vapor, I guess. A bit of an overkill, but wait, what? No, no, no. The attack can be redirected, so it's going here. So you have to fight it with this one. There we go. Which sucks. It sucks a lot, actually. Wait. Pierce power up too. Okay, we can use this thing. Why didn't I see that sooner? I don't know. So 5 to 8, no problem. 6 to 8. Okay, that works. Uh, you can also use unlock, I guess. Let's uh, unlock your potential. Well, you do have charge, so let's draw some cards instead. Now these two, well, get the cat under control as much as you can. Uh, right. So these four has to go to one of these twos, but other than that, we pretty much feel free to do whatever we want. Seven to twelve, emotional turbulence. I should also pay attention to the light. Okay, grab that thing, and then this thing here. Just take it with that, and you... You actually... Uh, we do have a lot of ammunition. Try with that. Hmm. Get rid of juggling. Doesn't do much though. It's something with a very good second dice. Well, actually, wait, wait, wait. The third dice here is really good. There we go. Ah, whatever. Okay. Right, hopefully I did everything correctly here. Oh, kitty cat, don't be so mad. We're actually doing stagger damage to it. There we go. Well, so far so good, right? Uh, timber! When attacking a target that has more light than Librarian, offensive dice gain power equal to the amount of light the target has, up to two. Ooh. Well, the, the cat has a lot of light, no?
not really. Yeah, five. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> Let's all just gather up. Uh, so how do you get covered, Likat? I cramped all I could find. This empty canister. Blah, 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 blah. And the thing repeats. Okay, after the abnormalities attack towards home has been cancelled two times, this is a mass attack, you wicked wizard, the following scene. If any barbarian is hit by the attack, the home is spawned next scene and reveals, repeats the previous behavior. If no barbarian is damaged by the attack, the abnormality becomes staggered next scene. Right. So we just have to keep repeating it. Okay, and it seems like she's targeting these two yet again. Which means I need to do my best to defend them. 3 6, 3 6, 3 6. Well, this just might be good enough to defend. Well, we don't need to attack that thing though. So let's go for. Um there and then here I'll need some stuff back there we go play tag uh, right and here oh, 9 and 8 what the 3 6 3 6 3 6 Well, I do need to draw cards. I could fight the cat. So this thing first dies like 7 to 13, but the second one is really low. But I think this dude has like, what? Health Holler and Mind Holler, so... This one's fine. This one's the problematic one. Oh, this one's gonna have very good numbers, though. 3-6, three, 3-6, six, 3-6. Three, six, three, six. Yeah, it's gonna be fine here. Let's go like this. And the next turn... Okay. A bit fight though. Okay. Okay, let's do the bayonet combat there. And let's see. That's good. I could get rid of juggling finally. There we go. And here. I mean, can we stagger her? Yeah, that's one thing though, right? We can try staggering her. But like this, like, do you have Mind Hauler? Probably don't. You do. Uh, it's a little bit scary. Yeah, let's pick this thing up so not everything goes there. Okay. Yay! Play tag! Well, no playing tag today. Courage. I don't know, it's like... 
<laughs> fights in this game it's like i never know what exactly i can expect like soon she's gonna play a very powerful card oh that's that's pretty bad actually it's good thing i took one attack there okay well now it's gonna go for these two again that's fine do you have mind howler you do okay record to stack resistance successful attack okay so again she's doing this thing right we just have to stop it and well i guess you'll be the one who's gonna like fight the cat what are you good against blunt and you also blunt do you have any blunt attacks no you're just slashing your way through my my peoples here well actually what about you health howler mind howler you're pretty healthy okay so let's see i need to win this thing so that's no problem we can do something like that didn't i already play that well i played it there okay and then against the cat um uh, Emotion level 3. Emotion level 2 here. Well, this one will not fight, right? Okay, what about this one? Hmm. I can plan with... Like, I should play Binding Arms to, just to make it cheaper, I think. And getting some energy back here would also be good. Okay, cat. Do you have the mind holler? You don't. So that's a problem, right? Yeah, that's scary. Mm. Click to bind. This one has mine holler though. Okay. Uh, let's see. What happens if we stagger her and kill her? What happens then? Like, I have no idea actually. But I know that I want to like regain a little bit here. So we're gonna have three light next turn. The mass attack might be really bad. You wicked, wicked a uh, wizard, right? What do you have? Uh, just mind holler. So you have no way of healing. So if possible, these two attacks would be picked up by somebody else. Howler battle ready. <laughs> like that timber thing is gonna ever trigger, right? Yeah. Um. The cat is really fast and annoying. I mean, I can just ignore these two attacks. And be like, sure, hit me, but I'm just gonna heal there instead. That's one of the ways we can do it. And save a lot of cards for the next turn, basically. Was damaged by some of the... right. So... First one we place something relatively expensive, then the second one we recover things back, right? Yeah, let's not play that. Let's do like this. And unlock, I guess. There we go. And then 
these two attacks. Let's just pick them up here. So let's see. Mm. This one's so hard to win against. I mean, that's gonna win against the dodge, most probably, but then... What about the other two dice? Yeah, that's so annoying. If I play something weaker, then it might just dodge all my attacks. That's the problem. So... <laughs> There's really no good way to do it. So how many different cards did I play? Yeah, these two will not unlock anything, so... What about you? Mm. You have bonus to slash. You could, in theory. But if you just slice there. That's really expensive though. Then we are without... Without agency. You cannot heal. No, that's just a bad, bad idea. This doesn't do anything though either. Hm. Just play that. play both of those so we play that and here a lock okay so yeah i don't know what happens if we stagger her but yeah might be a good thing to do <laughs> it's like i'm gonna help you out well, everyone's like on top of each other. I probably could have staggered her if I just focused to do it like from the start of the fight. We might... No. So she's gonna play your wicked wicked wizard now, right? Mass summation. If any of your brains hit, the home is spawned next scene. Otherwise, user becomes staggered next scene and home is spawned the scene after. Right. <laughs> she staggered anyway. 10 to 10, mass summation. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Okay. There we go. How do we pacify the cat though I don't know um. ba -da -ba. 9 to 19 well that's a bit risky that's better and finally this one here let though. I don't know. That. Okay. Who's in good shape? You are kind of. You don't have any light though. There we go. You. So let's see this thing so you're taking that thing okay and then you're taking that thing okay and then these two each one takes one right okay three to eight three to seven does uses the exact same cards each time
Okay, this thing's unlocked. You don't have enough light to use it, though. Well, that sucks. However... No, <laughs> that doesn't work. I really don't know. Emotional turbulence. I mean... That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. Okay. Unlock three. Okay, that's really good. Finally, we have that thing. And there we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I did not expect that. So, what's up, kitty cat? Where's your friend now? House fell on my team, but uh, a warm heart. I start to see boost the power for it, but what for it? It has three more light. Yeah, sure, whatever. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, cowardly. Once the road home dies, all resistance is changed to fatal, and max HP is reduced. The number of speed dice increases. Oh wait, the road home. That's the name of the girl. I'm so stupid. Well, I'm so, so sorry. Nervous as a cat. On Clash Loose, do 10 stagger damage to self. Like, does it do anything? Or is that just it? Well, I guess that's just it. Okay, well, in hindsight, it was actually a pretty easy fight. But I couldn't have known that, right? Okay, suppression of the road home and scare the cat complete. Cool. Well, it was nice. It was nice. The most important thing is not get the key person staggered. Oh, right. Coffee time. What are you up to? Oh, picking out some coffee beans. It's much more intensive work than it seems. I, Angela, and the employees of Liberty because we all picked out and ended up where we are just like the guests here. No matter what the individual wishes, society will just pick out the people it wants while leaving the rest of the road in the pile. An invisible chain of oppression is weighing down on everybody. Those are rules necessary for people to live close to each other. Hell, I bet society is gonna be even more messed up now that it's uh, more messed up than it is now without them, you know? I agree that some rules are needed, but why did all have to be so extreme? The syndicate, this coffee mug looks so out of place though. <laughs> the syndicate in the back street, the associations of fixers and the wings, they're all established on the premise of human sacrifice. That's how it is in this world, a big game of cat and mouse where the winner takes it all. There is no point trying to wrap your head around the inevitable. You really are an odd one, huh? Would you say that the pain and loss you suffered were also inevitable then? Ooh, ouch, ouch. You always talk about the city so plainly, saying that everything happens and it cannot be helped. Is it really because you are indifferent about it or are you trying to turn away from the underlying unfairness? Well, 
Don't poke the tiger chest. Sure, you're just being carried away by a gigantic wave. Oh, Ron's pretty chill about it, cool. All we gotta do is surrender to the flow and float down the stream. You're busy running away, aren't you, Roland? Hmm. You see, I came from the nest. Figured as much. I was born into a wealthy family that was the envy of all. I didn't have to worry about my future and was born smart too, to top it off. Some elite prodigy you were. I know, right? They all expected me to join A Corp, A Corp and climb up to the high position like it was nothing. My older sister and other siblings got into wings like a breeze too. The wings most people strive to enter were no more than ordinary career path for me. I never got why they were so desperate to join such boring companies. Then that's how great your family was? Yep, that's the kind of family Daniel had. But one day, in a bizarre turn of events, one might even describe as fate, he steps into the back streets, the place he never thought would have anything to do with his life. A rebellious little deviation from the quotation life of spoiled young gent. It would have been pretty romantic if that were the case, but I was just kidnapped really, it caught me by surprise. Someone decided to kidnap a nest resident, and a rich one at that. It must have been some big shot syndicate or just a crazy ass. Yeah, it was Carmen, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. But you see, it was actually Carmen Kali. Huh? If the Red Mist did that, well, I guess she had good reasons. When I came back to my senses, those two were arguing with each other. You were never good at telling people apart based on their faces, Kali. Well, it's your fault for giving me a bad description, Carmen, etc, etc. So they kidnapped the wrong person? Wow. Well, I couldn't help but chuckle listening to that. Oh, I know, I was looking at a comedy skit or something. So they got the wrong person, didn't take them for a couple of airheads. I'm telling you, they really were clumsy at heart. They were trying to catch some con artist who scammed Carmen out of her research fund and Kali apparently mistook me for the perp. I thought I'd get some apologies and go back where we, I belonged, but then Carmen asked me without a hint of shame to help her out for a bit while I'm at it. She said it helps to have a visibly rich person like me stand next to her. So I said, yes, out of surprise and confusion. <laughs> oh, chest. I was wondering what she was about to do, and then she took me to an open space and started giving a long speech. I guess it wasn't anything weird since there's plenty of people muttering nonsense in the back streets every day. You're right about that. Can you guess what she was saying, standing next to me? She went on about vague things like how everyone is fatigued and ill with this disease of the mind, and then she's recruiting people to help her find a way to overcome it. Sounds like total hogwash. One thing that stood out about her was that she was so proud and confident in her ridiculous speech, even when most people barely gave her a glance before going about their business. Carmen was vastly different from the people I had seen. She had the eyes and voice of a person who was willing to carve a brand new path. I never thought people like her could exist until that day. After her speech, Carmen walked me home, and on the way back I saw and heard it for the first time, the hellish landscape that was so different from the world I lived in. Carmen and Kali taught me about what's going on in the back streets and how people in the nests are being extorted without meaning. When I got back home that day I spent all night shivering from this odd sense of guilt. The naive young noble wakes up to a half-baked sense of justice. I did. I guess you could say it was half-baked in a way. I mean, you could have just shrugged the whole thing off as a bad day and went back to your everyday life, no? Maybe, but I just couldn't, no. So I ended up joining Carmen's team of researchers. <laughs> well, that seems like a logical choice, right? <laughs> that simple? Aren't you skipping too many steps at once? Of course, my family had several problems with it, but those were just small details. I wanted to use my capabilities to help people. I was sincere about wanting to make the world a better place. Well, Daniel was. How about now then, are you still sincere about that? Yep, I am. I want to change it right next time. If there is a next time, that is. Don't expect others to have the peace of mind like you do. It's all thanks to your prosperous background that you could say such generous stuff. I, hmm, I'll be going now. Okay, <laughs> they're like, hmm, any more ideas for dialogue? Nope, okay, just write down, I'll be going now and then we are done. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, it's like interesting story here, so the... Chest or Daniel was like a young noble <laughs> kidnapped by accident by Kali and Corman, and then after seeing a little bit more about the world, decided to join them. Okay, let's see what we get here. Courage! 
Can I follow you forever so I can tear them apart? Single ally at the start of the scene gains strength and protection equal to the number of allies currently alive subtracted by 2. If the value is less than 0, feeble and fragile will be inflicted instead. Okay, so we have 5 people. And we should count as our own ally. We're gonna get three strength. That sounds really good, actually. Home. Unable to go ever go back home, they began an endless journey. All allies at the start of the scene, numbered uh, targets are placed on up to 3 to 2 to 1 enemies, depending on the number of allies currently alive. Each time a target is attacked in the correct order, increase outgoing damage by 3 for the scene. Okay, that sounds so weird, actually. Our road walks together. Let's walk together to a wonderful land of world of dreams. Single ally. If an ally redirects an attack that was initially targeting this character, dies on that ally's page, gain 1 to 2 power in the clash. Okay, that's amazing. I like it. So if you need to protect somebody, so just put that on them and then uh, somebody else can clash instead. Wonderful. Okay, cool. Well, that's gonna be it for this one. So we need to obtain the Book of Esther once again and question mark, something we didn't gain yet. Okay. Here we just got a little bit of a story, we're gonna check at some point. Oh look, we need a Book of Chun here as well. So it seems like the Book of Chun will be the next thing to do. So we're gonna do, be doing uh, another fight against uh, Xiao. Keter. Unlock all upper floors, rise to the rank of Star of the City. Okay, this one's been waiting for quite a while. But uh, tomorrow we're gonna do this one anyway. So this is a continuation of what exactly? Nemo, Martina and Badao, those lawyers, Kane office, right? Or we could do a general invite. Yeah, let's do a general invite tomorrow. We didn't do that in a quite a while. So yeah, if you wanna see general invite, come back tomorrow. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, well, like and subscribe. And in the meantime, I wish you to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Nimmer signing out. Bye-bye.